Etzel here from Beyond Expectations. In this video, I'll be discussing exercise and lifting weights. I'll read out the question and I'll give you my answer and it goes like this. Hi Elle, according to your suggestion of 7% weights, is that how many times per week that you are training? 3% cardio, how many times and how long per session per week is that? Thanks, great information. Thank you so much for your question. Now to further explain it to you, when John and I say 90% diet, 7% weights and 3% cardio, we're talking in terms of your energy and your focus. So your energy and your focus needs to be 90% diet. So if life comes up and something happens, which inevitably it will, your child may get sick, someone may pass away in your family, uh, you may have your car break down, you may lose your job, the list is endless. When life comes up, you cannot miss your diet. You must stay on your nutrition because ultimately that's what's going to reshape, transform your body and maintain it for the long term. But in regards to your exercise, well, that's going to be the place where it can give. Now, if you want specifics of what you should do, now we believe that 7% weights means that 7% of your time, your energy and your focus goes into weights. So when you're going to exercise, the first thing you should consider is weight before cardio. Cardio should be an afterthought and that's why we give it 3%. So if you're going to the gym and you're wanting to exercise, focus on weights. And we suggest, what I did personally, is 30 minutes three to five times a week. So what I did uh, typically is full body workouts. You will find that your legs are harder to recover from when you work out your legs because you tend to use them more. Also the lactic acid that you produce and free radicals when you do uh, lift weights tends to go to your legs. So you always find that they're going to be uh, a lot more sore and harder to recover from. So I would tend to do full body workouts, upper and lower body. Now, three to five times a week, 30 minutes. That would be the suggestion in terms of times. Now with cardio, walking. No running, no sprints, no intense cardio for a number of reasons. First of all, uh, if you overtrain, you can quite often uh, feel the need to indulge in sugars and that's going to break your healthy and whole food diet, unless of course it's your cheat day, there's that. And also it's very hard on the joints. The cartilage between your joints, you cannot rebuild. Once it's gone, it's gone. That's why you'll find a lot of athletes in intense physical sports like football or soccer, rugby, or any of those types of uh, sports generally retire with when they're about 30 because the impact of high intensity cardio uh, on the body, on the joints, is very difficult to recover from when you're getting older. And I'm close to 40, so for me personally, walking 30 minutes no more than three to five times a week. At this stage, I don't actually do any cardio whatsoever because I'm quite happy where my body's at. I mostly stick to 90% diet and weights. That's generally where I put my focus, but cardio is very good for a number of reasons. It's very good for cardiovascular health. It's very good for uh, endorphin rush. And it's very good general health and well-being. But if you're looking at it purely from a weight loss perspective, it needs to be 90% diet, 7% weights and 3% cardio. So that is uh, the breakdown for you. If you are looking at specifics in terms of how much you should be doing per week, you want to be looking at 30 minutes of weights three to five times a week, depending on your schedule, 30 minutes of walking, gentle walking on a treadmill or on the street. Personally, I did it on a treadmill three to five times a week. I really do hope this helps. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, please leave your comments and questions down below. Tell me what uh, you struggle with personally. Do you find it difficult to stick to your nutrition? Do you find it uh, difficult to make time to uh, exercise? And if you do, uh, what's your plan moving forward? I'd love to hear uh, your thoughts. And thank you for stopping by. I really love you joining me. And please head on over to elliot.com. Grab your free copy of Seven Rules from Beyond Expectations if you haven't already. It's going to help you to get started reshaping and transforming your body as John and I's gift from us to you we hope you enjoy using it please give this video a thumbs up subscribe turn on the bell notifications and I'll see you in my next one bye